8.2 now examples and those are on exponential decay now we just talked about growth so now let's talk about decay uh, just like before uh, what I want you to do now is um, go to y equals because we're going to graph so when you go to y equals uh, clear everything out of there type a 2 alright so get a 2 then a parentheses then a 1 divided by 3 carat sign x that's what you should be typing in parentheses 1 divided by 3 carat sign and your x remember your x is right beside your alpha when you press graph notice how the graph goes down in this direction now okay well let's figure out exactly what it is so we're going to press second graph and we end up getting negative 2 18 negative 1 6 0 2 1.6 repeated and 2.22 repeated so negative 2 18 somewhere way up here we'll just say negative 1 6 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 2 is right there 1 and 0.6 and 2 and we get even closer and notice how this you connect them just goes down and it looks like the graph once again this line right here y equals 0 that is your horizontal asymptote okay your horizontal asymptote to the graph I'm um, trying to graph this one now press y equals again so let's go back press y equals again okay clear all that out now what I want you to type in is this parentheses 1 divided by 4 and parentheses and another parentheses 1 divided by 2 caret sign x is what you need to type in there and when you type that in when you type that in take a look here and let's see what you get when you graph it it comes down but it comes down a little wider see how it's coming down there a little wider um, what I want you to do now is go to second graph and take a look at your points so second graph and take a look at your points we have let's see here negative 6 16 we have negative 5 8 we have negative 4 4 we have negative 3 2 we have negative 2 1 negative 1 point 0.5 and 0 0.25 and you can see the trend here negative 6 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 way out here and way up here negative 5 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 negative 4 1 2 3 4 negative 3 2 negative 2 1 negative 1 point 0.5 so you can see the trend of the graph as it goes down and once again keep in mind um, this line right here is the horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 and when we come back here we'll finish up on the uh, examples that aren't dealing with the graphs